Yeah. Oh, Lucasfilm game! I didn't know that! Yeah, exactly. Why are you the way you are? View the scrapbook if you are new to Monkey Island or need a refresher. Let's check out the scrapbook. Hey, you wanna see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Can you hear it, Dr. Volk? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. Before I hit any further, I want to know if you can hear it. This should be a fun game, though. It's very much a storytelling game. I didn't know uh, George Lucas was making video games. Perfect. Let's get moving. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, am I supposed to do something else? Oh. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. Okay. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. Aww. She was governor at the time. Ooh. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. It was outdated way back in, but I think this is like the fourth installment. I've never heard of Monkey Island, and I thought this would be cute for us. And then I was like, oh, this is the fourth, fourth one. But it's fine. He's telling us what happened. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. <laughs> is it? My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. I like it. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. The Sea Monkey! I bought it at Stan's used ships with- I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Lisa. Monkey Island to save Elaine. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrod. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. Herman Toothrod? The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. <laughs> yes, so far an amazing job. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. That turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? Because she's amazing. I don't know who she is, but she sounds amazing. By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me, it works, okay? Root beer. Okay, root beer. I defeated LeChuck, and he basically exploded. <laughs> it was the beginning of something magical. All right. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Wally. Good times. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. <laughs> the International House of Mojo. Okay. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. Ooh. 
One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. LeChuck turned her into a statue? The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. <laughs> She's wearing a ring. I got eaten by a snake. <laughs> he got eaten by a snake. I got buried alive. I erupted a volcano on purpose. <laughs> There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. This is so cute. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. Okay. I erupted a volcano no. on things backfired on LeChuck, because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. They got Game, married. Game, set, matchmaker. Hey, this got... was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding that's, traditions are weird. That's weird. I never stomped on a daisy. Mm, that's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. <laughs> Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. What's adorable is that he made this scrapbook. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding. But apparently you do. We did it. <laughs> oh, man. This was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Again. But you're already, she's already married. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. Wow. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. Okay. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. Well, all right. I guess he was a... Uh... It's, the, it's the sixth game? Oh, my. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. You should have. Always trust your wife. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. No. Except when it does. <laughs> but it doesn't. Morgan LeFlay betrayed me, even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. <laughs> right? <laughs> It was so strange. This Love is such a cute movie thing. Hold on. Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. All right, moving on. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my big whoop adventure. I defeated the Chuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Oh, my. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of the adventure. I defeated the Chuck. Hold on, I how do I get out of this? Oh, I see it. Okay. No, no. Yes, we want a new game. All right, so we saw the scrapbook casual. All the story and all the fun, but with the casual puzzles for busy on-the-go player. Hardcore. More puzzles, harder puzzles, the full monkey, <laughs> or the pro adventure gamer. Now, like I said... This is completely decided by chat. So you decide, are we doing casual or are we doing hard mode? And go. Which one are we doing? Hard or casual? I'll wait for your answer. And when we start doing the choices, I'm just gonna have them as one, two, three, and four. Uh, so when I do a poll, what I'll do is I'll just say, do you want option one, two, three, or four? Rather than having to type out a bunch, it seems like that would probably be the best way to make all of this happen, is to do that. Of course, I don't know about the latency and the lag, but hopefully we can get there. Casual. All right. Casual it is. An unexpected story begins. All right. We can't do anything here. Come over here, gently now. 
Remove my mask. <laughs> Will you promise to stop picking on me? <laughs> all right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. <laughs> hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. <laughs> it's so lifelike. <laughs> I wonder if it's real. What is happening? Totally something I would have done as a kid. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Not follow yes, people, sir. but make up stuff. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. Scurvy I've dogs. Never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Use the lipstick to walk. Okay. Talk to Chucky by turning towards him and pressing A. What should we do next? We gotta get to Scurvy Dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Okay, so Scurvy Dogs is over here. Art style's amazing. Use L, B, and R, B for the right stick to circle through the different objects around you. Oh, I see. Okay, so hold on. Don't slip. Freeze. Looks like they need a swabby in here. I'll never be the ship's swabby. That is really, really low. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Are we going to the bathroom? You can press Y to open your inventory and look at items you've picked up. Examine the outhouse. Yeah, it's the bathroom key. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my- It unlocks the outhouse outside. Buy a scurvy dog. All right, that's okay. Okay, hold on. Let's talk to him. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Okay, hold on. Uh, how... How much is a mug of grog? Grog's for grown-ups. Beat it! Beat it! Can we get a mug of grog, please? I told you, grog's <laughs> only for grown-ups. Stop wasting my time. Hold on, hold on. I didn't actually mean to hit that. I meant to do this. How much did you say Grog is? I told you, Grog's only- <laughs> My bad, you guys. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. <laughs> Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. All those flies if look give delicious. Me a piece of eight. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? <laughs> Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me there to give them free There aren't 50 food. kids walking into your shack. Come on now. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Gross, but sure. Let's go do that. Where's the outhouse? This is the outhouse? This is the outhouse. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. I know. Uh, here we go. Use the left stick to move it. To, okay. Good! You unlocked it!
It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Okay. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Is it though? Gross. All right, let's check what's I went to gross. Gross. Is there anything down there? No? Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Ugh. Is there a rat in there? Gross. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. I don't I don't blame you. Ugh. What is this stuff? You it smells ooh. the same as the toilet. You don't want to know, buddy. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. Oh, that's where you wash your hands. Oh, that's nasty. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Right. Wait. I think I think we've done everything we can in there. Let's go in here and see if we can't fake this guy. Hold on. What's this say? The words don't look like words. But there's a picture of a scurvy dog. All right, let's go get a scurvy dog with our fake money. First, we have to maybe uh, return. Uh, That's where the outhouse key was. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it? Hey, look, I'm returning the key. You want a medal? Now I want a scurvy dog. Can I have a scurvy dog now? Uh. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. Okay, let's see if this works. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs. It if works! You want. Perfect! Take them, boy. Ew. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Ah. This is the perfect food. Ew. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. Okay. Let's try that out. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate! Um... Hello? Boo! Ha! <laughs> He's dead to the world! Sounds real! Hey, Chucky! Get ready to run! I guess they don't like visitors. It's a slug means us on Shadowgate. A slang, a slang for counterfeit coins. That's right. Dog. The troll did That's not like your counterfeit tea. coins. Hey, hey, Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. She's an expert planner. She said so. There. I heard her. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. Open up your inventory and take a look at the to-do list. Oh my. Mess around and explore. Check out the anchor, beat Chucky in a race, feed the duck, add some sauce to your scurvy dog, practice sword fighting, find a four-legged clover, a four-leaf clover, make a wish at the wishing well, find our real things. Okay. That's a lot. So, oh, we have to, we found the anchor. So here's one thing. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Wow. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another That's ship. True. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. 
But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. Okay. You can still find the old kind on a modern anchor. That's to prevent with the little flange. Most anchors these days about 30 All right, Hermione, all shut up. Kinds of people, but the only way they get the word anchor, they're called, yeah. <sighs> she finally stopped talking. If you missed anything, you can hit the left D-pad to see the previous lines. Okay, great. I don't think we missed anything that we cared about. We do have to do a race. <laughs> All right. Uh, here. Uh, here. We're gonna race. Hey, Chucky. Wanna race? Let's race. You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Uh, huh? Chucky wins! I didn't even get a chance to move. Like, my character... Can we... Yeah! Can we do that again? Shoot. Can we do that again? You up for another race? You're on. My character didn't move at all. Two, one. Hey, Cheetah. <laughs> you have to wait until I say go. Okay, my bad. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I can stand on my head. You can. Go for another race. You're Let's do on. this. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go. Chucky wins. He still won. That's okay. We'll let Chucky win. All right, what else? Okay, let's check our... I want to see. Check on the anchor. Oh, we have to beat him? Oh, that's a part that we have to beat him. That's a part of it. Okay, never mind. I thought it was just race, so we actually have to beat him. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Oh, no, I wasn't ready. Chucky wins! I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready! Let me yeah. do it again. Let me do it again. Let me yeah. do it again. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! How am I not? Chucky wins! I'm hitting the. Okay. Woohoo! I'm confused. Yeah! Darn! Yeah. Alright, we got it. We have to beat him. I'm a cheater. <laughs> you up for another race? You're on. Hey, we might I'll have to officiate. do this one a little bit later Three, if I can't get it right. Two. You have to wait until I say I thought go. you said go! You up for another race? I promise You're I'm on. not a bad person. I'll officiate. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, Sheena. You have to wait until I say go. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to cheat. You're I just want to win. Race. You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one. Chucky wins! I don't know how I keep hitting the arm boo 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 boo. Yeah! Alright, we're gonna we're gonna find something else to do. We might come back later. Let's feed the ducks. Hey! Hands off! That's our bread! Oh. Excuse me! Yes? Oh, here we go. Could we have some of your bread to feed the ducks? I will will you pretend to be our parents again? Never mind. So this is one, two, three. I need to move my face. Hold on. There we go. So we have option one, two, and three. We have one, two, three. Which one is it going to be, Dr. Volk? You know, I kind of know what you're going to be doing. <laughs> girl has a slingshot. Mm -hmm. Waiting on chat. One, two, three. The latency is brutal. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Right, choice number, hold on. There we are. 
Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Wow. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. No regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Gotta run! How rude. I don't know where we're running to, but they told us to run. Okay, we got the bread. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Okay. I saw that and I understood. Oh, we're gonna go all the way. Oh, look at that! That dude's over there is having a good time. Cute duck. It looks full. Okay. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Pick up ketchup. Sure. You should put that on your scurvy dog. All right. Did anybody ever see Ren and Stimpy? <laughs> Welcome! Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? I wonder where this path goes. Hold on, I need to search. Let's look for a four-leaf clover! Okay, good luck with that. I see one. Oh, here. I we found, found one! one. Totally awesome. Ren and Stimpy. There was still one left? Darn. Well, you're welcome to just come and hang out, uh, Leader of the Ducks. We're going to be playing this game. It's actually a telltale game, so you guys get to decide how the I story goes. I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Okay. Do you like to hunt for four-leaf clovers? Yeah. I leave them where they are and take the extra leaves off. I want things to be even. Does that mean we uh, completed that task? We did. Uh, practice sword fighting, beat Chuck in a race, make a wish at the wishing well, and find your real parents. Okay. So, is the sword fighting over here? <laughs> is it at the same time? <laughs> I can stand on my head without using my hands. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Maybe well, there will anyway, be Pac-Man one day. Fun. In the arcade. Okay, so that, that updated our I list. Have, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Wait, we, I think we need to talk to her for some reason. She's not... Hold on. There we go. That's a nice tree. I'm only pretending to look at the tree. I'm actually spying on that couple by the pond. Why? Hmm. All right, we need to go this way now. Uh... In France, they call a scurvy dog hey! a chien scorbut. We got a real coin now, but I need to put it in here. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Yeah? I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Oh, I need to do this. Yeah. Before you use up your wish, maybe you should save the game. Do you... You can load your... Oh, okay. Uh, this button? Yeah, save. Save. Is that what it wanted? Or did I hit load? Hold on a second. Did I just mess up? I did. Aw, the game just totally screwed me over. Aw. Okay. Thanks, game. Hey, Retro, what's up? 
All right, let's go through Why this again. On my head? That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. That's right, I'm you really able to remember this. You know that if you read as much about anchors as good I one, leader. Did you know they were used, they started then, the current, but you can see on a modern, that's to prevent the little, f most anchors about third, all, oh, but the only word, they're called, yeah. <sighs> Sorry guys, I, I dozed off for a minute. She was talking way too much. Hermione's a talker. Face I think we can't try it this time. Wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Ah, he went again! Chucky wins! He always wins. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat him. Yeah! I'm doing Darn. well, Retro. Thank you. It's been, it's my anniversary for my channel, so I'm very excited. How are Excuse you doing me? today? Yes. Have you had your coffee? I already know Dr. Volt chose option one here. Will we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. He's such a cheater. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. You have no regard for personal property. Gotta run! How rude. <laughs> what's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with It's yummy, dogs. yummy. <laughs> you should put that on your scurry dog. I suspected as much. I know you love your coffee. Aw, it won't let. Aw. I, I was going to try to give it to Chuck. Uh, why can't I eat it? It's not letting me eat it. Oh well. Let's feed the ducks real quick. There we go. Right? They're all ignoring the sign. Don't feed the ducks. But we're feeding the ducks anyways. I've got to eat this scurvy dog and it won't let me. Alright. Let's uh, get out of this and go and sword fight. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. Okay, you be no Frank, and I'll be Friday. Friday level. Frank. I win. I win. <laughs> I win. Pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna save now. Okay. That way we don't have to do all of that stuff alone again. And let's go over here and do the four-leaf clover again. I want to see two scurvy dogs. At do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Clover. Okay. Good luck with that. A pirate. I found one. Ooh, I do. Awesome. There was still one left. Darn. Do you like to hunt for four-leaf clovers? Yeah, I leave them where they are and take the extra leaves off. I want things to be even. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna pick this one up. Okay, and we have to eat this scurvy dog now. I don't know why it won't let me eat it. What you looking at? Those kids jumping broke down there. <sighs> They're doing it wrong. Oh, this girl. I are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Oh, okay. Well... Oh, you do? Awesome! I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I should. Stop repeating yourself. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the clover, though. Okay, guys, I wish Chucky had a mustache. This is one. Two is I wish D would disappear. Three is I wish for cool paint. Or plant. He was cool plant. I wish for another scurvy dog. I wish I could speak backwards. What do you guys want? One, two, three, four, five, go. Clementine is my favorite Telltale character. Clementine is, yes, I agree. I really like Clementine. I will be getting her hat. I want 
things to be even, but 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 they were even for equal sides, I know. <laughs> so now everything is at odds. What? Oh, refresh, uh, leader, refresh. We have a vote for number four. Number four is, I wish for another scurvy dog. Is it still frozen for you, leader? Because it's fine on my end. I don't know this game, and the thinks that the drill talking is really annoying, but you enjoy the game if you want. All right, I'm gonna pick four. I wish for another scurvy dog. Those things are bad for you. <gasps> I was not expecting that. He didn't even share! <laughs> She's not in the game the whole time, I don't think. You can load your save. Oh, that's why it wanted me to do that. That's cool. So we could put the- I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I should throw my coin in and that's... make a wish. Okay, I understand. I have an extra toot in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do the mustache. I wish Chucky had a mustache. <laughs> He's got a mustache now. Oh. <gasps> it's okay to share your opinion, leader of the gut. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? What? Okay, I think we're going to go now. Hey! Who's that? Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah! We got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Look! Look. I read about it. And we were playing your adventures! We just did Big Whoop! Big Whoop? Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the hey, craziest Keith, stuff back. for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. I That's saw you chilling in a uh, Resi stream. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids... Let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, oh, there was a rumor awesome. going around that Retro? my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did. So I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. It's good to support Rezzy. She's sweet. I have her stream running while I stream, so I wanted to give her hours. I know she's trying to get her hours. Deep in the Caribbean. I think we're getting started, you guys. I think we're getting started. The Island of Melee. You need to get it going, Keith. I would be a member if you'd get that going. Same with BB. Can we skip the intro? Maybe? Aw, thank you, Retro. Can I get some hugs for Retro in the chat, please? <laughs> Leader. <laughs> Can I not skip this? Hmm? Ooh. 
bad things. No! <laughs> okay. We should have a Rezzy command. I need to get her one. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah! We got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh. Can I skip we any of this? More adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, yes, boy. Amelia will remember that. That, takes me that is frustrating. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest you, stuff you, for the Keith. ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't there just change it around. There you go, Retro. All That's the not hats. how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call the secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought I'll have shot. a command oh, for Rezzy on my ending. next uh, Just punching and fireworks. Strength. I thought you liked that one. But you never did Thank find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story is We've already heard about. them say all this because Kids, the game decided to go backwards on me. Is about finding the secret I'm on blush. He sounds like is Duke. Is this a long I'm on blush. story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have they to have go, to go potty. Uh, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered Thank the Thank you exact everyone for coming into the stream. Don't forget to hit that like Island. button. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. All right, Keith. I wish I could fast forward this. That's what I was doing. I was pushing all the buttons to get this to move forward and it sent me backwards. So I'm not gonna touch anything this time. My hands are tied. I'm tied. My hands are tied. So we're just gonna have to sit, we're just gonna have to talk to each other. We've got commands, there's games and stuff you guys can do. You can figure out how many hours you've been here by doing exclamation hours. You can exclamation points and find out how many points you have. Bye leader. Are you leaving or are you just saying bye to Keith? There you go. You have a, wait. Ooh, I love me a jug of punch. Irish term for Kool-Aid. Oh, okay. doesn't look like... I don't know why I didn't give you your in particular hours. I'm going to have to figure out those commands. Hey there, Gamer Gale! No, I haven't finished it. This is the beginning. We just started. It's just doing the intro. It just... It won't let me skip this, and the last time I tried it sent us backwards, and I don't want to go backwards. Because <laughs> I'm just waiting for this to finish so we can get into the game. It won't let me move forward yet, and I don't know why. There we go. Part one, a friendly place. Here we go. Part one. Hey, Keith was here. I don't know if he left left or if he's lurking. He might be lurking. Uh, feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in He's this standing case. there talking to himself. Hi. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you. All right, go get your snack -ums. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. <laughs> but now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Uh, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, Anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas. You've been enemies for my whole career. That guy steals all my best ideas. <laughs> I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine! He says, I love how I was just saying that, oh, it would... It had a scrapbook to help people with low attention spans instead of giving me a full intro. Then didn't allow me to skip through these scenes here. Right? I understand. I think he, he stole my wife. Okay, that... 
that's enough reason at all. You don't kidnap somebody else's wife. I agree with Dr. Volk. We're going to go with number one, because why wouldn't we go with number one? The Chuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. It's I right. sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. It's right. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. <laughs> this guy's he's like, he... <laughs> this guy ain't taking anything from him. He's like, but, but. All right, he's an evil zombie ghost pirate terror of the seas. He's been enemies for my whole career. That guy steals all my best ideas. Uh, I'm mounting my own voyage. It's mine. Um, right now we have four choices. Two? All right. He's been, he, we've been enemies for my whole career. Here we go. We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. Ooh. He's an evil ghost zombie pirate terror of the seas. He steals all my best ideas. I'm mounting my own voyage. It's mine. Mine. <laughs> mine. It's all mine. I like this one. And this one. I like these two. Number four. Oh, you're too late. It's either one, two, or three now, Retro. One, two, or three. It's either he's a zombie pirate. He steals my ideas because he's a jerk face or my own voyage. Mine. This one? It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> mine. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. It's mine. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm going to hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. It's all mine. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. But we're broke. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders we're at broke. the scum bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. <laughs> I'm glad they kind of told me where we're headed. Do I still have the same stuff in my inventory? No. We do have a to-do list. Talk to pirate leaders to get money. Use wads of cash to outfit expedition. Find the secret to Monkey Island and relieve the glory day and relive the glory days. Okay, that is and then we have we have money. How much money do we have? I've got a few coins for incidentals. Okay. Off we go. Off we go. Oh, this way. Re-elect Governor Carla. Okay. I guess his wife is no longer the governor, by the way. Speaking of bars, my give mine granola bars. S'more flavored. Ooh, s'more flavored granola bars. Those are some of the best granola bars. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is up to. Oh, we can't go see Le LeChuck yet. That's LeChuck? I guess that would be LeChuck. I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck is well, up to. Well, then don't give me the option. All right, pirate leaders it is. Three special steps. That's all you need. Three special steps, and that's all you'll succeed. That's right. Hold on, guys. I need to fix my heater. It's kind of cold in here. Yo ho! Alrighty. This guy. Let's talk to him. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Okay. Are these the pirate leaders? I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Ow. Looks like a circus act. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Are these the pirate leaders? Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Is it you I should talk to about financing my expedition? 
Alright guys, one, two, or three. <laughs> Give me three steps towards the door. Cha 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 goes. <laughs> three steps, that's all you need. That's right, to succeed. Okay, one, two, or three guys. You keep saying the word three, it makes me want to do this one. Is it you I should talk to about the financing and expedition? Where are the three older guys? Okay. Well, you guys said a lot of three, so we're going to go with three. Is it you awesome. I should talk to about financing and expedition? Pick number three, my lord. An expedition. Pick number three. Who is it that you think you are exactly? We're the Dread Pirate Roberts. I'm sorry, that wasn't an option. We're the dreaded Pirate Roberts. Um, no, I'm Guy Brush Thripwood. Probably you've heard of me. I'm the rock solid investment you've been waiting for. I like that one. Just a humble pirate unworthy to be your august presence. All right, guys, one, two, or three. I wish Dread Pirate Roberts was in here. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> All right, I like this one. Music's nice. Keep banging. Two. I like two. What do you think, Dr. Falk? Number two? <laughs> right. We're gonna go with two. Retro said two, and I'm okay with that. I'm the rock solid investment you've been waiting for. Spare me the greasy sales pitch. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's, like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! <laughs> plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. It's not exactly a raid. Exactly, it's a raid. I'm going to find this secret to Monkey Island. Now here's the thing. Do we want them to know what we're doing or do we want to be aloof? So one, two, or three. Music is cool. It's all going to decide. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this thing makes, makes any difference. But it's still cool. One. I'm going to go with it. It's the, the first number I see from you guys... I'm gonna pick it. It's not okay. Now I've got I got conflicting, but I saw Doctor Volks first, so he beat you, Bart Retro. You guys gotta be quick. It's not exactly a raid. What else would we be interested in? He wants to just go all in. <laughs> oh, they only give me one answer now. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. We need to change. You're wasting our time. The secret. Hey, Keith. I didn't think that was even a real thing. All right, here we go. Who's ever first, we get to choose one, two, three, or four. It's a prize in capable monetary value. It's a prize of incredible cultural value. It's a mystery of ages that must be solved. It's a personal passion of mine. I really want to find it. Number two, it's a prize of incredible cultural value. I like that answer, Retro. It's a prize of incredible retro cultural value. Retro was first. Value. Culture. You mean like a cheese this is gonna or be something? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. All right. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? One, two, or three. You'll be first. I was going to do a poll, but this seems to be more fun. Number three. You... All right, I got two for three this time. Let's go. Let's go. Can you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> All right. With backing, I can work it out. 
I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. One, two, or three. Who will be first? Oh, Retro's on it! Let's get, see, let's see if we can get one more person to agree. I'm gonna pick one regardless because I, you know, first person, first person, you guys gotta be quick. Anybody else agree? All right, we're going one-to-one -one with Quick Draw Retro. I know, he's quick. He's on it. Let's do it. With backing, I can work it out. It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. Join the winning team, that's right. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. So we just got two options now. Do we want to get it before Chuck? Ah! Two. I, I agree 100%. It's two. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Right. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Huh. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> I don't think they think he's very... <laughs> <laughs> What's behind that patch? And she's crying. Oh, they... Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island, no matter what it takes. Ugh, hey, like Lydia! Happy birthday on better. the 14th. Sorry, I was late earlier. Okay. <laughs> They did not help. We could ask our wife if she should have money. Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! I okay, this is this is the woman, is she's either married to us now or not. I'm not sure where we're at in our relationship, but this is the love of our life. And we are, I was hoping you turned up in this story, <laughs> breaking the fourth wall. Uh, how's your survey prevention project? You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. Remind me how long we've been married. Oh, they are married. We are, they are married. All right. Now that we've got a little bit more people in, I'm going to, I'm going to go and say whoever can give me two answers of the same. So if you guys agree with each other, I'll go with that. So if someone else agrees with number two, we'll go with number two. Because we got more people coming into the chat. How's your scurvy prevention project? Is is the current option? Does everybody agree or someone else agree? Otherwise, we're going to pick number two because retro is quick draw. Going once. Going twice. So How's your for scurvy number two. Prevention project. It's great. We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Oh. Would you happen to have a ship with you? Sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I have to be going. You're probably got to get going. Okay, so both of these means we leave, and then we have sounds like you've met, and do you have a ship? This seems like the one... Because we need a ship. Otherwise, we're going to be going all the way to the whatever. I could both got you it. You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Uh -oh. I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. And I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. <laughs> Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. Sounds like we both met Madison. We're go, we're go. Both of these say go. We're just going to do this one. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed 
laughed at me. Oh. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I have to get going. You've probably got to get going. I feel better just talking to you. All three of these end the conversation, so it doesn't matter on these, so I'm just going to put this one. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. We gotta go. You've probably gotta get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye 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 first. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. I hate that Streamlabs breaks out like that. It's so weird. All right, moving on. What is this? The couple thing, right? <laughs> going out of business? This place is an institution. But now we have to go in here. Ah, the International House of Mojo. Inter this place hasn't changed in years. I want my pancakes. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. Right? Hey, right. you mean ever since we lost, we last saw each other, it's been years. I'm going to search the secrets of Monkey Island. I don't suppose you have a bunch of cash handy and want to finance an expedition. Do you know where I can find an available ship? Mojo, Jojo, laugh out loud. How can she have any money? She's going out of business. She has a I'm going out of business sign outside of her office or building or whatever. She doesn't have money for you, wish guy. Number three? Pick number three, my lord. Pick number three. Number three. All right. Uh, I don't suppose you have a bunch of cash handy and want to finance an expedition. This is probably the funniest answer. Or I do you have an... And, uh, but retro was first. We can do four. Let's do four. Dinner. The best place to look for a ship is at a dock. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. Okay. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Mm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. It doesn't seem... When you are unsure of the way forward, Open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as we a, got a future book. book of hints. Ah. What is it really? A book of hints. <laughs> Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a lunch. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. All right. We talked to the voodoo lady. What's this one? Read the sign. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. So all of these businesses are going out of business because of Madison. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. <laughs> now she's a bloody witch. What are these signs here? Hold on. No. Weird. What is that? Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. And there's a dude up there. Oh, it's a lady. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Things are not what they seem. All right, you're weird. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. <laughs> Let's go in. The note says, forced to close. What? I, Thanks oh. for the memories, but cash would have been better. Can I not go inside? Right, here's your 
here's your sign. Can I not go inside here? All right, it won't let me go inside. What's this? Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Did y'all get married here? A visitor! <laughs> Wait! Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal! Hey, these you guys could be our crew! Let's bust them! Let's bust them out! In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all! I was in the other cell that time. <laughs> you look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. A new art style <laughs> breaking the fourth wall. Big news, I'm going after the secret of Mon Monkey Island. What did you get you for this? What did you do this time? I assume you'll be here when I get back. One, two, or three. One, two, or three. Bust them out, soul sisters. It's time to rock this jailhouse. That's right. Soul sisters, soul sisters. Get them soul sisters. All right. So, do we want to tell them that we're going to Monkey Island? I think these guys can be a part of our crew. We just got to find a way to get them out of jail. Number two. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. What? Alright. Uh, I noticed you didn't say what crime they locked you up in. I feel like he didn't answer the question, Retro. Do you feel like he didn't answer the question? I feel like he dodged your question. It's not very respectful of Retro. You need He asked you a question directly and you're supposed to answer it. We're gonna try that again, right, Retro? Do you want number two again? Scissors. Scissors. I know, right? He's not answering the question. I noticed you Very didn't rude. say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? Yeah, that's better. All right, picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. That's the only new option. So it's this one. We still got one, two, and three. At least now we know what he did. He's a flower stiller. He's a flower picker. Lousy old flower picker. <laughs> Lousy old flower picker. I think, I think we can make this guy get out of jail. Mm -hmm. These guys seem to like us. Everyone else doesn't seem to like us. Two again. Picking flowers from the governor's garden? Sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. He makes very valid points. You should not be in jail. We should get him out of this prison, I believe. All right, one or two, Retro. I believe this man is innocent. Taxpayers did pay for those flowers. They do belong to him, technically, right? I think so. He made some very good points. That dude is tapping his foot a little too hard. I think he's had. Uh, I think he took your coffee. Ooh, third time's a charm. All right. I assume you'll be here when I get back. Don't tease me, Guybrush. All right. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Interesting. I think that we are going to be able to get him out of here. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Sounds like a legit rule. How's your day go? Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. His arms. Sorry to see you in jail. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. What did you do that got you arrested? Would it help if I broke you out of jail? 
see you later. So this is the first time that we're telling the guy that we're going to get him out. We didn't say that to the dude who just picked some flowers. I don't think he did anything wrong by picking a few flowers. I think he did just fine picking some flowers. I really do. We do need a ship. He did. He took your coffee. Here we go. Number four. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer. It truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. The hand thing is weird. One, two, three, four. I don't want to do five yet, but so we only got one, two, three, or four. So he can tell us what to do next. Uh, it's so weird with the hands. Ugh. Maybe he got arrested because he stole Retro's coffee. That tapping foot, man. I tell you, he's had way too much caffeine. Is he, I think he's a used ship salesman. Three. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son. But thanks. Stop moving your hands. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. What did you do to get arrested? Are you? We're not doing that one again. I don't know why it keeps looping it around. Is there anything else I can do for you? So three's out of it because that's the same option. I think we would just be stuck in a loop. So let's do uh, one, two, or four. I don't know why they had kept this here though if, uh, if it was just gonna keep us in a loop. It should've went away. One. All right. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. I'm sorry. That man moving his arm, he's like, my hands are tied. My hands are tied. I'm shackled with his arms just flailing about. I just can't. Okay. I have to get it together. Hey, Rezzy. I had your stream up the whole time, girl. The whole time. I saw you find BB and you fought the painting lady. Good job. Ooh, that was hilarious. <laughs> it was too funny. Yes, family friendly, please. Hugs for retro. Okay, and Resi. Um, oh, it looked like she had a blast. And I, I had it up the whole time so that you could get uh, dream hours from me, Resi. All right, so we need to choose. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Which doesn't really help us. It's fine, Retro, you're fine. Could you refer me to a competitor? Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? Okay, well, thanks, I guess. One through three, guys. Which one would you like to see? I'm gonna tell Power I have his uh, stream up. Number three. Okay, number three, my lord. Number three. Number three it is. Okay, any tips on how to steal a ship? Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son. <laughs> no Mutiny. Chance. Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike. If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. I can't handle the hands. 
Okay, could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Could you refer me to any competitors? <sighs> his hands! Oh, his hands! <laughs> Number two. Good night, game! Could you refer me to a competitor? <laughs> Stab me in the heart! You'd go to a competitor? Where's your loyalty, son? Well, seeing as you're in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I <laughs> thought... It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. <laughs> I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. <laughs> I can't tell he's talking with all his hands all over the place. Sorry. Uh, I have to stop this conversation. I'm not going to be able okay. to make it. Well. Thanks, I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. <laughs> as long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. <sighs> Are you serious? There's more? This guy's killing me. <sighs> okay. Are you sure there's no way I can get a ship from you? What did you do that got you... Okay, no, we've, we've already done all of this. We gotta see this man see later. later. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Oh, talk to Stan. What? Okay. Oh, God. Okay, that's Otis. I don't remember this place being so leaky. Uh, they finally installed running I water. I am <laughs> crying with laughter. You look like you're having. <sighs> okay. I just needed a minute. Looks sort of like an eye. It does look like an eye. I think it's a chandelier. It looks like a stick person. Let's go in here and see what we could do. Oh, man. Welcome to my shop. Hi. Oh, that was too much fun. I can't handle this sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. This game's been hilarious so far. <sighs> uh, right. The uh, uh, things. <sighs> I need to get it together. All right, what is this? Clever nested box. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner Can I level. Yes. Can I keep? The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. Right now. <laughs> Bye, Keith. Get some sleep, buddy. Whew. I just needed a minute. I'm sorry. Are these crackers free? Are these for customers? Not technically, but please help yourself. That charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot. Thanks. I'll just take a few. They just took all of the crackers! Can I give some to the parrot? It already looks well fed. What? Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Be pretty. Uh, 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 hold on. There you go. Up here. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, I took them all. at least make a good one. That, uh, that was... What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. Of course. Buy the fishing- we can buy it? How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? Well, alright then. Our bad. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual golden keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. Dr. Volk is the master of puns. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. I like her. What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. She's a thank you, Captain Obvious kind of attitude. I like it. What's that lock? That's for hats. I want a hat lock. Wait. Matlock? Hatlock? Is there a treasure map? I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. It's called Miami. Miami. Nope. I like it. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. <laughs> well, you got it, lady. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Okay, so here we go. 
Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? I'm on a quest to find the secret monkey island. Yeah, it's probably her diary. Yeah. I think I'll browse around a bit. We don't want to browse around a bit. We want to ask her one, two, or three. What you guys want to do? Two. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Hmm. That was the lady that was screaming at us earlier in the window. Well, considering that she doesn't seem to take anything from anyone, maybe. And you really make keys for stuff. How well do you know Weedy Bones? One, two, or three. Do again. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. Would she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I like the voice acting here. They did a good job. And you really make keys for stuff. That seems like a magic trick. I'm on a quest to Monkey Island. Leonard. quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. Well, there you go. All at once? How does that work? That seems enormously useful. If it is a key, would you duplicate it? Alright. I think we need a key that's gonna help get us those guys out of that prison because my guess is that they're gonna join us on this trip. Number one. All at once? Well, how does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. Mm-hmm. Can you really make keys for stuff that seems like magic? How would you like to join a pirate crew? Oh, look at that. We might want to bring her along. She doesn't seem like she's going to come with us, though, because she's a locksmith and has a job of her own. I bet she's going to have some sass behind that kind of question, but we could ask her. All right, two it is. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. I knew she'd say it. Okay, then we only have one option left. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just a serial number. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure oh, if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Oh, the reading on those locks, we couldn't read them before. They were too small or worn, so that's the serial number she's talking about. What's to stop me from reading serial numbers on someone else's lock and having a key made? That's a good point. What's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. I need glasses. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. I know it's like the only option we have is one. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock. I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. All right. We, we... I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. I'm touching all, all of it. Everything. Okay, I think we've looked all everything in here. We need to find some glasses. Maybe. Now we know who she is. All keys are gold. 
It's the way of kitties. No one ever works together. All want their own prize. Hmm. Okay. We're slowly making our way in the world today. It's taking it everything seems that we to got. Be stuck closed. Employees only. Hmm. It seems to be stuck closed. There's nothing to do here. I feel like. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. I need some glasses or something. Where does this go? Where? Where? What is this? Is this the mansion? We're just gonna walk on in. Carla. Hi. Friend, I hope. Guy brush three wood. We're the worst pirate. Hello, swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Uh oh. Anything but your cooking. When was the last time you had a bath? Let me show you what a hack looks like. This should be fun. Right? Okay, number one. Anything but your cooking. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, but it works. Yeah. It's nice to see you again. You too. You should never have given up being a swords master. How's the govern ship treating you? I hope you're still not sore about the thing with the ship that one time. You've come far enough since I got you first cushy government job. One. You should never have given up being sword master. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Nope. Elaine can handle it. She doesn't need me. I've got my own project cooking. I'm not automatically involved with everything Elaine does just because we're married. Elaine said that the program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Governor might help us if we tell her that Captain Madison's being a butthead. Who knows? Is two your answer? I got my own project cooking. I wasn't sure if, uh, yeah, okay. Elaine said that program is being hampered by Captain Madison. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Uh -oh. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. The mansion hasn't changed much. I should let you get back to governing. So this lady's our friend. That's kind of cool. See, you should never take money from people that are a little shifty, and especially a pirate, because you're always going to get the bad end of a deal. Always, always. Never owe anyone anything. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Unless you trust them. Good for you. I don't have it. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? The mansion hasn't changed. And we still have these two are the same and we have one something different now. Bankers are secretly pirates. I agree. So are lawyers. One. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? Ha! I'd rather swallow a live. Hi, Retro. It's been fun. Go enjoy again. your coffee and snacks. No offense intended. 
so unlikely, but still possible? No. You want a crew, go yeah. down to the docks and hire one. She is not interested in being our crew. Is there a government program that funds expeditions to, to find secrets of Monkey Island? The mansion hasn't changed. I, you should get back to governing. This one actually ends the conversation, I think. So it's either one or two, I believe. I like this one. I'm just going to go with one. Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, you oh, said two. Oops. gosh. You're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. <laughs> Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey Island, or don't you? Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. The autograph. Oh, we can look at these books now. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Okay. Well, there we go. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. That sounds like you. I feel like he's going to just be forced to ask Chuck to take him. I think you're right, Dr. Volk. It seems to be leaning that direction. He's either going to have to go eat crow and talk to Le, Le Chuck or he's going to have to, like, hide on his ship. Oh, we got to find... Hold on. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. The Big Book of Treasure Maps. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Right. Stupid Captain Madison. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. to ship. It's thicker than I would have imagined. Those are the books. Oh. I like your stuffed uh, guess it's a dog. Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Well, alright, let's take it. Cool. It's a lot of work being governor. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Uh, can we go up here? Stay out of my bedroom, Three Wood. I didn't know that was your bedroom! I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Really? Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. Oh. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. Cool. I don't think there's anything else to do here, is there? I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Always take them, that's right. Okay, she doesn't have anything else to say. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> oh, we missed the Sea Monkey. What is that? Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Oh, she's beating up the painter. <laughs> I still think we have to do something with the prison. I just haven't figured out what... Oh, hi! We got all kinds of places we can be going. What is this? The shipyard. That's where we found that old man. To the dark forest. Warning. The dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. I don't have one. I'm assuming that the game will let me just... Oh, oh, there's a snake. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Did we just leave? It doesn't really give you options to go... Oh, we can go this way. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. 
Oh, I see. I don't think we can do anything here. I think this is progression at some point. It just keeps... I'm slipping. hopelessly yeah. lost without a map. We just keep exiting. Oh. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Can I climb in it? I want to climb in it. I used to love these when I was six. Yeah, until I got trapped in one for two days. Oh. I think they're illegal now. Museum of Pirate Lore. All right, maybe there's something in here we need. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Oh. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Okay, I guess we need Carla to give us a key. That's what it said. Or we need to wait till it's open because it's nighttime. Okay, so let's go down here. Let's go back to the, uh, well, I guess we need to go to the shipyard. That's over here. Wow, it's worse than I imagined. Oh no, this place is like, abandoned. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? <laughs> I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. Stan's in jail. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. That's sad. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. All right. It looks like LeChuck is our, is our only hope. If we're going to be doing anything. Let's explore a little bit more. Let's make sure that there's not something to do with the, uh... Honoring Melee Island's 27th Governor, Carlo the Swordmaster. Frankly, we were afraid not to. <laughs> the problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. That's right. It doesn't look finished. Okay. It looks like tic-tac-toe. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. Limes Never once made it all the way to the combat end. Combat scurvy? Wait. Wally's map and more. We can't go in there. This place has kind of gone downhill. This place has kind of gone downhill. Yeah, it has. Oh. I need to find a get a key, I think. When they get close to finding it, suddenly they are gone. That made no sense. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! Big news, I'm going after... Okay. Big news, I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic! You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore, but maybe you can still help me out, like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time, and I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors? Imagine that. Guybrush, you got to get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Okay, so he's actually asking us to take him with us. So, I wonder if we opened up something. Hold on, let's go back in here and see if she can help us out. Hold on a second. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hi. Hello again. No, that's not it. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. We need glasses. That's what we need. Okay. Until we get something to read that, I, I think we have to go to see LeChuck. I think that's that's our next step. I think I have to leave the map by this. I don't know how else to do it. So let's go over here and see about talking to LeChuck. There we are.
How clever. La ship. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. His hair Looking makes a, a heart shape. Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Oh, absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Have you got anything more senior? <laughs> no thanks, I'm getting my own expedition together. An equal opportunity employer, that's right. He's an EOE. <laughs> um, one or two. What? Absolutely. I'd love to be a swabby. Swabbing is one of my favorite things in the whole world. The restful, mindless repetition, the delicate scent of old soapy water, the proud satisfaction of a sparkling plank. Okay, okay. Save the strokes for the decks. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck, nephew? Andrew LeChuck, no relation? Smith, John Smith, or do we tell them the truth? Remember, we're pirates. Like it. Smith, John Smith. Smith, John Smith. Uh-huh. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Uh -oh. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. That John Smith episode where Doctor Who goes back in time to that school and he loses his memory was one of my favorites. I liked that episode a lot. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays 3 to 4. We're probably going to have to sneak onto this thing. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Okay. So now we have to find a mop. We're going back Why to the... Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Okay. Human nature, the family blood, I watched for the first time last month. It's really, really good. Oh, I've not heard of that. Oh. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. <laughs> what? The place does seem different from what I remember. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Want to come? Tell me about Loom. It's Loom. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Gonna go with this one. It seems like the best one. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. All oh, their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. No heart. Dr. Vogue, do me a favor and put the exclamation point chair while I run to the potty? Be right back.
Did, did, did chair behave themselves? I hope chair behave themselves. Okay. That's not gonna work for me. He's got all twisted. Okay. We're just gonna go through these. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Stan just made up the secret? That would be hilarious. There's nothing at all. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old times' sake. Beat it. Say it. No. Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Yes. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes. Now get lost. He hated that so much. <laughs> he hated that so much. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. It's those three clowns at the back table. Yeah. Yarr. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Not fine, good, or peachy. Same old, same old. These are all the same. I like peachy. Peachy keen. I like the music. Peachy. How's Elaine? She hey, there's was a there's a mop. Favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Oh, she's good. No pieces missing. Still in public service fighting scurvy now. I screwed up our anniversary. We're apart more often than I'd like. She's here on the island. One, two, three, four, five. We got five now. Number two. Still in public service fighting scurvy now. My place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. With all the She's maggots, got a foundation. your place is clean. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a map? The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Did I mention I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Islands? Keep up the good work. One, two, three, four, five. Two again. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches stay the same. I've missed your wit. And your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Do you know where I can buy a mop? Uh, those new pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Monkey Island secret. I think I hear the health inspector. Oh. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You elegant? cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. It's only a well, mop. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. <laughs> uh, build it? 
The wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. But Any questions? How do I find a mop handle tree? What kind of wood is is the tree? How about the head of the mop? Are you sure I can't buy a mop? I I, I it's just a mop, my dude. All right, one, two, three, or four. This guy is serious about his mops. I would think he'd be more that way with a spatula. How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. All right, remind me how to find a mop handle tree. <laughs> what kind of wood is the tree? That's funny, because he's like reworded the question so the guy might answer it. Number three. What about the head of a mop? What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Alrighty. So remind me how to find the mop handle tree. What kind of wood is the tree? Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Surely we can just buy a freaking mop, you guys. I mean, it's just a mop. I can even use his chef hat. I wonder if we told him that the health inspector was coming if we were able to steal his mop. I don't know. Probably not. It probably wants us to go get a mop Remind handle. Remind how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Oh, come on. All right. What kind of wood is the tree? That might be helpful. Let's try number two. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover yeah. for yourself. Dude, you're not a monk. You're a cook. You're a pirate cook. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. It's Trust impossible. me on this. All right, fine. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey part? Right? Even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. First we have to make a mop. All right, let's find out what this is about. Ooh, Active maggots. little guys, aren't they? It's like a miniature dance party. No, it's not. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supplies when he can. Ugh. Pleasantly scorching hot. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. No, we don't want to talk to him. Well, it's definitely a mop. It most certainly is. When life gives you lemons, make a mop. That's Looks right. like a mugshot. He just scratched his butt with a spoon. He just scratched his butt with a spoon, everyone. Did you see that? He scratched his butt with a spoon. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. All right, we, we pick whatever that is up. All right, let's go and try to find us a mop handle. Don't ever eat there. He literally just scratched his butt with a spoon. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. Wait, there's a book here. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. In the back of a scum bar is a giant whale, the cellar, the kitchen, or the fishing trophy. Well, it's the kitchen. Ta -da! We win! Well, that's fun. All right, let's go. I think we need to go to the woods. Well, let's go this way. I don't know how else to get to the map, but this way. This? Re-elect Governor Carla. As long as she's a good governor. OK, 
Okay, I think we have to go back to the woods to get the mop handle, is my assumption. Or maybe we need to get a map. Uh, we can only go this way. I'm hopelessly lost without... Okay, try that again. Let's go this way. This time let's go this way. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Where do we get a map, though? This is the only place I know where you can find a tree. Wait, let's go this way. I'm hopelessly okay. lost without a map. Where do we get a map? Oh, the door, the doors, it's open. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad. The curator and docent here. What up, Conrad? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. You got it, buddy. Hey. Hunk a slug. Oh, hold on. Oh. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. I like the breaking of the fourth wall. It's like, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Okay, what is this? There's some very tiny writing on it. Mm -hmm. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. Do we, oh wait, hold on, we have crackers. Feed the cracker, feed crackers to the guard. Look at guard bird. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. Quietly open the display case. The display case is locked. Okay, so we gotta find the key then. What was this cinder you got on the wall? Oh, that. It yeah, all comes back down to a key. That was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. It's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. This is almost like his museum. Seems like most of the stuff that happened here is his stuff. Well, let's go up here. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. All right. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. I think that's him, dread pirate Roberts. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore, yeah. The coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town, but I managed to restore it. Good it job. was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. Except for he was there. You, you should probably listen to him. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, oh. that's the reason she's no longer with us. Ow! That's not good. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. But very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. It's Those ripped. are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. 
So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. And how do you- Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. <laughs> this guy is so bogus. We need to find a key somehow. It's locked. I'm Guybrush Sprintwood. Your museum is quaint. Do you have maps of the forest here? I see you wearing a peg leg despite having both of your original legs. One, two, three, or four, Dr. Volk. What you got for me? And thank you everyone that stops by the stream. I appreciate you. You know, museum curators, they think they know everything. And they don't know anything. Pick number four! Hi, so you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit. For the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. Well, your curiosity, Dr. Volk. One, two, or three now. Number three. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? It was closed last time. He does have a good point. I like this one. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Are any of these things valuable? Do we want to tell him who we are? He might not even know who we are. It seems like our history is being mashed up with other people. I'm just going to go through all these. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. He t This dude. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Not You're not if you can't get on a ship, buddy. Are any of these things valuable? I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Now we're going to keep our stuff. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. I'll have a look around. Please do. All right, with that said, we need to find a key and we need to find a map. All right, so we're headed to the map shop, I suppose. Eventually, we can, we're can. we going to be able to get a key. At least that's my hope. Map shop. Okay, is the map shop open now? It is. Hey, Wally. Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. And he's it's got the Guy monocle that we need. Wood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map hey, shop always. within the Caribbean and beyond. This guy... He okay. We really did some bad things to this guy, and he forgave us. Okay. Welcome, always. Yeah, we're doing some monkey stuff. You wouldn't happen to have a map of the secret of the secret? No, we don't want that one. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop. You have a lot of maps in here. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. Number three. All right. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many. You need a map to find them all. Doc, I have <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Um, so always, can I just say that you're the first person to say that to Dr. Volk, and I love it. Everyone else says Dr. Volk or Volk, you're the first person that just say, hey, Doc. What up, Doc? Like, like Bugs Bunny. I tell you, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, number one. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. 
Funny you should ask. Ooh. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. <laughs> what kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. Are y'all serious? What's with you guys and mop sticks? Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. Tell me again what you need to make. Uh, we need a stick from the mop. Map to find a tree, right? All right, we're gonna leave it here. Bye. I really need these glasses though. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Can we? Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. He saw us. We're horrible pirates. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? That's actually kind of cool. What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. That sounds creepy. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. This if guy is really sweet. For it, never mind. Oh. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Give me some wood so I can make a map to tell you how to get a tree so you got the wood from. <laughs> this is like a masterpiece game. Isn't Monkey Island older title? There are six of these games, apparently, and this one was done in, what was it, 2022, Dr. Falk? I didn't know that when I started this. All right, we're going to go. All right, we have the monocle, which means... Oh, okay. LeChuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A uh, funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Ooh. Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island, knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Yeah, he angry. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for LeChuck? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. Very well. So, I, I think it started in the 80s, but I'm not sure. Now, the game I played before, the, bat, the Master Blaster or Blaster Master, that one is from the 80s. Mm -hmm. All right, no, we're not going to listen to her. We're going to go to jail. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. And we need to use this. They say the only real map. prison is the one in your... I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. Good job. Okay, so can we do this one too? I doubt it, because this guy doesn't want to come with us. Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. Okay, we can't do that one, so we're gonna go here. Oh, we can do the one at the museum too, I think. Let's do that too before we come back here. I think we can just come back here. Can we run? I don't think we can run. And then we have to go and get a stick from here. Uh, how do I get in? Here. Let's see. Who are you? Hi. 
Are you my waiter? Mm. I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion it's really last good. week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not. It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. Uh, I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Uh, Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. Maybe he'll give us money. We need money. I like the music right here. Alright, uh... Stay away from my mom! Okay, we need to, we need to distract oh, you him somehow. You look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here! Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but uh. he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. Where did he say he had the dish? We know it's at the governor's, so we know we need to go there. If I bought you a recipe, if I brought you a recipe, did you make it? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Can I ask you again about the mop I need to make? All right, one, two, three, or four, you guys. Which one do you want me to ask first? The choice is yours. I know what I would pick. I think this one's useless because we already know where to go. So it should be just two, three, and four. Or two and three. And maybe four. Number two. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? I'm gonna try this one just so if we can maybe get the stick. Cool, cool we'll do two. Oh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. Dang it! All right. I'll see what I can find out. We know Thanks. where we need to go. There's a lot of fetching in this game. It's fine though, that's, that's the whole point I suppose. Okay, so now we have we know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. We need to go talk to that lady again, find out what she served at that event. And then we need to go to the museum and find, the, get the serial number for that lock. Give the serial numbers to the locksmith. All of the things. We don't want to uh, admire the pole. Where are you? Okay, we need to okay, ask you questions. I've come for a recipe. Well, I've come for a recipe. A dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. <laughs> Rena Bells? Barbie LaFlay catered that event. I own her cookbook, but I don't know any of the recipes. Do you know where I can find Barbie the Flame? Middle of the Atlantic Ocean? She's halfway back to France by now. What row? Remind me what you said about the recipe I asked for? I said I didn't make the food, but I've got the cookbook. But can we have the cookbook? I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. Is it over here? A graph. There we go. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Uh, Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had well, to buy another copy. You never even apologized. You don't read books. You said so. We totally I forgot. totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even Give apologized. Give me the book! Okay. 
I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. I need it. Okay, what's this? Can we not have this book? Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. What do you need? Look, just let me borrow the book. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. What book did we borrow? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. Ah, more than lady. That. Maybe we can just read it? It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. So, I can't get the cookbook? Lady, can you just let me have it? Do I have a book I, can, I can't? Hold on. No, I don't need a hint. I just want... All right, we'll come back to this. Maybe we need progression. Let's go to the museum. Now that we have a monocle. Numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. What? Right, well, to the locksmith. I know, right? You go somewhere and then, okay, so this lady. Let's go to the locksmith and we'll get the guy out of prison and see if that helps progress some stuff. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. What's up, lady? Hello again. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock. I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. Is that it? Oh, okay. Hold on. Tell me again no! about how to have keys made. I hit it's the exciting. wrong button. You bring me the serial number from the lock. I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Okay, maybe... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Don't tell her that. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. I know, right? He's playing it currently right now, Always Gaming. It's... That game is something special. I used to sit and watch my dad play it. Hey, Guy Brush! Hey, kid! Okay. Word of advice, kid. Stick to the narrow straits. Otis, the authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but <laughs> thanks. <laughs> oh, the hands. Jail is like a ba I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. Oh, I was going to see if there's anything in there. At least the jail is well lit. All right, let's go. I don't know what getting him out of jail did for us. Uh, but at least we did a little bit. Uh, let me look, let me look. Um, <laughs> so, hold on. We have a stuffed animal. We still need to get the wood. We need a recipe. We got that guy out. Uh... Job, guys. I know you guys can work some stuff out. It'll be fine. Hmm. Did that guy go in here? 
the jailbreak guy? You're fine. Don't worry about it. He didn't come in here. We need to get a recipe. I feel like I am now stuck. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. He needs a stick. I got a monocle from him. Is there anything back here I need? Oh, there's something here. The trivia card. It seems to be stuck closed. Does that. Do you know how I can make it stop doing that when I play a game on Steam? I think that's it. I think. There it is! Do I need to find a book to give back to her? How do I get a map? How do I get a mop? How do I borrow a book from Carla? You need to get Carla to forgive you before she'll let you borrow a book. Words alone are not enough for Carla to forgive you. You need to find something to give her, make her apologize. Stick. Okay. You're very welcome, always. She wants something from us, so let's give her some something. Uh, what can we give her? Let's try money. I don't... Can I pay you for the book I lost? I don't need your money. Mm -hmm. I should, we took that from her, so she's not going to want that. You want some crackers? I was trying to give her crackers. Maybe she was hungry. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. I don't think I have anything to forgive her. Looks like a sandwich. They're, yeah, they're good. These are crackers for a bird. We've got the cell key, which I don't think she wants that. We have the trivia book, the monocle, an untangled string. I don't think she wants my to-do list. All right, let's go. Ooh, let's go to the voodoo lady. Maybe the voodoo lady has something for us. Maybe we can buy a, a trinket from the voodoo lady. is nice, but there are no numbers here. Oh. Okay, so what do you think she'd want? What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. 
Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness fraud. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Okay. That seemed like the thing to do. Okay, hey, what about this? Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Maybe we, maybe... maybe oh, I'd one. like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Right? Okay. This product is not Just... to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. What? Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Do you not want to Whitling, sell it? Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause it's serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with bread. I stopped listening. Spreads, <laughs> bed spreads, or thread hey, baby. may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in at all. The manufacturer. Oh, she talks to me. Yes. 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 Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Um. We we basically bought a knife for not allowed to do anything with. All right, let's go. Holy moly, okay. We finally make it surprise. I don't know what the knife is for, but we have it. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Baby, you have missed some shenanigans. We've been having some fun. Thank you for the likes, guys. Okay. Let's give her the frog. So she'll give us the book. Here. You're giving me a frog? Yes. It's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. That is complete nonsense. And yet, I am going to forgive you for losing my book. Yay. I can't even explain why. I just have this sudden, inexplicable urge to forgive. You better not be up to something. Just uh, don't lose the frog, okay? We're totally up to something. No, I'll keep it with me always. Aw, she's going to keep it. Okay, so now we can borrow the book. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow this cookbook? Come on. You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so... I guess I'll give you another chance. That's why we have the hoodat. I won't let you down. The I'll hoodat definitely hat. return this. This voodoo works in the hoodat county. All right. So we have the book, right? We do. Okay. Let's go see the cook. The art style is amazing. I have to say that the art style and the dialogue and the voice acting has been really good so far. Wait. Oh yeah, that clock has been broken for decades now. Even a stopped clock can be right twice a day. Correct. All right, let's go in here. I like it right in this little corner. But yuck, that's true. All right. Take I the book. I found this at the governor's mansion. Uh -huh. 
The mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. Well, it's definitely a mop. Did you get it? This will be excellent. We didn't. Oh, we have to use this. We get it? We did. All right. We're out of here. Brilliant innovation. It's so weird that the music changes right there at those pirate guys. The pirate cancel. It's weird. Things are finally moving along, though. Uh, let me give him this piece of wood. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? In minute later. Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Cool. Now we're going to go to the forest and get a mop handle. Because that's a thing that is a thing for things. <laughs> I don't understand. You got to get a certain kind of handle. <laughs> I wish there was an easier way to get the map. And there there might be. No, we don't need the museum, we want the forest. Okay, so. Uh, will the map work now? Hold on. How do I use the map? Does it just work now? I guess I lost my way. I don't understand. Open map. Oh, okay. The, uh huh. We have to go to the house over here. But I'm confused. All right. Let's just maybe now that we read the map, the game won't make us leave the automatically. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Let's go this way. I guess I lost my way. Okay, maybe not that way. And then maybe up. I guess I lost my way. I am confused. We read the map. Um, oh, uh, what? Hold on. Let's go in here. So we're here. Now let's read the map. No, not, no, we want to read it. Okay, so we want to go left. We will go this way. I understand. All right, and then we get the map out again. Ooh, not that, this. Okay, we want to go straight across now. Okay. No, not that, this. Now up. I guess I lost my way. But no, that way's the way to go. second, so we need to go... We need to go left again, right? This way. Right? You think it's up from here? Okay, let's go up. I'm gonna listen to Dr. Bolt. Is it up now? I guess I lost my way. I lost my way again. Okay. We're gonna get this. I know this is one way. Oh, hold on. Let me go this way. Yes, it's PC. This should be up. Hot chocolate. I guess I lost my way. I am so confused. Okay, so let's go right, right again. Hold on. This is so strange. <laughs> N 
Now this is up. Okay, so now we're here. It's left, and then up. Okay. It's this way, and then up. Okay. Alright, and then it's just, and it's just this way. You like that? That's right. Every gamer, every gamer should know what that is. Every gamer should know what that is. It doesn't look like I go up at all anymore. I guess I lost my way. What? No! I. <laughs> lost my way. Dude, you are really getting on my nerves. You guys didn't really have to make this a lost wood map, did you? Okay, now that we've now that we're on this side. Cuz we went up here. Now it's this way and then up. this one here. One, two, three, four to the end. And now it's just going right, or I mean left. We're just gonna go right. We're gonna go left. Because I saw the tree. I lost my way. I hate you. <laughs> Do I have to go back up? I think I have to go back up. Ah. I think I see it. Mm. My eyes are starting to cross here. And this is up. One and then up, right? Yes. And then this is uh, straight, which is there. And then we go over, over, and there's like a zigzag, and then we go. I guess we backtrack ourselves almost. Possibly. Little prick the kids. Hey, little fella. It's like there's a welcoming committee. Okay, so. Uh, Find your mama, little prick the kids. Hold on. There we go. Wow! The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. This thing actually has mop handles hanging off of it. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Okay, so what? I have to use the knife? Thank you! Several hours later. What have we done? 
What have we done? Oh no! Thank you. Oh no! What have we done? We're horrible people. Hey, little dear. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. You clot pole! Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what... I'll take a shortcut back. <sighs> Many hours later. We're horrible people. Okay. <laughs> Alright, with that said... I can't believe we did that. Oh, wait a second. Can't. No. No. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, B is back. Okay. I want to grab this. I made him up. All right. With that said, let's go back in here. It changes right here, but I like it. Okay, so busy. Yep. Is there anything else I need to He'll do here? It's Carla's copy again. of Ingredients by Barbie Lafay. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. I'm still using it, but it's not yours. At least they look healthy. The plaque says, "In memory of looming seagulls of old." Okay. Um, I'm not sure what our next move is now that things have finally... We have a mop. And he is a little, um, I don't know if good person is the right word. I think he's just oblivious to the world around him. An idiot. Okay, so we have this stuffed animal. I don't know what to do with it yet. We have a knife that we're not allowed to do anything with, but we do anyway. We have a little bit of Mooney. Crackers. I wonder if this key would fit the... Hold on, let's try the key on the museum. But I'm about to end the stream now, guys. I'm getting hungry. Uh, but I want to try this first. This was where the fantastic flying Fettuccine Brothers circus used to be. Nothing left but old tent pole holes. Wow, I could have had a totally different future if I'd stayed with them. What? All I did was move back and forth. I found a secret. That's kind of cool. No, not that one. What is happening? Okay, I'm going to see if this key will work because it wouldn't let us actually see the serial number. Is that right? It's... Let's see. Uh, let's give him the crackers. And let's see if the key works. It doesn't fit. Well, that's not cool. Because this didn't really work. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. What do we do? It's locked. All right, BB, get some rest. There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Ooh. Well, thank you always. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do next. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Huh. All right. I think we're going to leave it here, guys, and we will pick this up. I think what we're going to do. Oh, thanks, bad boy. Hugs for you, too, buddy. I think what we're going to do... Um, what I think I want to do is probably play this on Fridays or Sundays whenever I have an opportunity to where we can fix this. So I might toggle between this and Blaster Master. 
Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Pope. I enjoyed it, too. Now that we got through all the streaming issues of it crashing on us uh, multiple times, I was not going to give up. It was not going to get the better of me. I am the best, I say. i just kidding. <laughs> oh, I said that. <laughs> Anyways, um... I think I might toggle between this and Blaster Master on Fridays. Um, I'll put a poll up and see which one you guys want to watch the most, rather it be this one or Blaster Master. I did enjoy both, but that crab. Ooh, that crab. That crab was hard. I need to figure him out. He didn't have a pattern, which was hard for me. But anyways, guys, I've enjoyed my, my anniversary. This has been a lot of fun, except for the stream crashes. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Always Gaming, Dr. Volk, Bad Boy Gamer, which is my BB, Keith and Rezzy, uh, uh, Retro came as well, and Leaders of the Ducks, and so many more others. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has been so much fun. Yeah, the crab was very crabby. He was very, very crabby. Thank you guys so much again. I've had a blast. This was fun. And I will catch you guys in the next one, which will probably be on Thursday. We'll pick up Ed with Mario Sparks of Hope. And maybe this on Friday, because this, this is fun. I'm intrigued. I like it a lot, for sure. I'm going to go ahead and save before I forget, though, because I do things like that. That's, what? Okay, that wasn't, okay. Uh, save, yes, this one. Yeah. Yes, put them all in. Always, that's Dr. Volk's uh, channel if you want to check him out. He does lots of retro games. He's a retro game gamer, um, and he's currently playing through the Shadowgate that you had heard about, if you're still here. If not, I can tell you in a stream later. In any case, I will catch you guys next time. I'm going to go eat some food, and uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. I had a wonderful anniversary. Thank you for making it special for me, and I will catch you in another one. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.